Hello and welcome to our A Shampoo Burning Studio 20 video tutorial. A Shampoo Burning Studio burns, converts, backs up and copies your data to CD, DVD, Blu-ray and external drives. In the following minutes, I'll show you how to back up your files to an optical or hard disk with the help of a backup plan. Once launched, I select Backups. This menu has multiple options to back up your local or external files, including cell phone data. For this example, I'll use Backup Files. Next, I select the files and folders to include in the archive. I want to save my local files to a USB flash drive, so I expand this computer to reveal the subfolders. Then, I select the My Pictures folder by checking the corresponding box. Naturally, you can also select multiple files and folders at once. Afterwards, I click Next. I can then specify various settings including the name and output location for the archive. A project can hold any number of archives and I intend to store all of my pictures in a single project. Fittingly, I'll call it All Pictures. In the next step, I select the flash drive that will hold the data. Since the non-optical disk option is already selected by default, I only have to select the location for my archive. This is achieved through the Windows Directory Chooser dialog. And just like the project, the archive needs a name, which I'll enter now. Since there may eventually be multiple archives in this project, I use a descriptive name to better tell them apart later, and hit save. Then, I check the path once more to ensure everything is in order. If needed, you can add password protection to your archive. Make sure not to forget your password as you won't be able to access your data without it. To save space, you can also compress your archive. Note that, if enabled, the backup process may take a little longer to complete. You can also split your archive into individual segments to fit them across multiple volumes, for example, CDs or DVDs. If set to automatic, the program will split up your archive in case it exceeds the capacity of the selected storage medium. Finally, you can use the Reminder feature to get notifications to update your projects at regular intervals. I'll use the 14-day setting. Afterwards, I hit Backup to start the process. Once complete, I get a notification. Here's how you can manage your backups more easily. On the Start page, select Backups, followed by Manage Backups. Available backup projects will be listed on the left. Select a project to display associated archives in the center. This makes it easy to restore an archive or create new ones based on existing settings. Click Back to return to the Start page. That's it for today's video tutorial. If you like, I'll gladly show you how to create DVDs and Blu-rays including scratch protection, or how to use the new cover editor to design your own CD and DVD inlays in a later video tutorial. Let us know what you think in the comments and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next A Shampoo video tutorial.